Um, the airplane has been up for 22 years. We, we examined it in the early 90s and it was fine. Uh, we just want to make sure in the, in, in the course of the last two decades, it's still fine. So we really don't know what we're going uh, to see, but hopefully nothing. <laughs> So uh, the challenge for all the fabric is the fact that it's so old mm -hmm. and the fabric does dry and age over time and becomes quite brittle. And we've seen that already. We saw it last night when it came down. There are a lot of cracks in the, um, and there's some tears with some cracks in, in, in the doped fabric. Um, well, what the airplane itself, the Spirit of St. Louis itself is a very straightforward aircraft, what made it special was the flight. The fact that Lindbergh by himself, um, and at that time an unknown airmail pilot, uh, conquered the Atlantic. He wasn't the first to fly the Atlantic, but he was the first to do it nonstop and solo. And really important, between two major cities. And he showed very clearly that in 1927 that the technology of aviation was progressing so far that it wouldn't be that much further in the future where anybody could fly the Atlantic in an airliner, and that proved to be the case. Well, what is very, should be a lot of fun for our visitors is that you'll be able to see it up close. It'll be here on the floor, um, probably through the summer, uh, well, guaranteed through the summer, and maybe in, even into, into September. And uh, even though uh, you can't touch it, you're a lot closer to it, and it somehow seems a lot more personal.